Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to remove a dishwasher. The process is fairly simple and I'll be taking you through it in a step-by-step -step manner. So let's get right to it. Alright, so the first step is to cut off the electrical power to the dishwasher. So I'm here at the electrical panel and I know that this breaker up here at the top, number one, is connected to the dishwasher. So I'm going to um, flick it off just like that. Next, we are going to turn off the water supply that goes to the dishwasher. So I am actually here underneath my sink and this is the valve that controls the water supply that goes to the dishwasher. So I'm just going to turn it to the right and once it is fully tightened, I will have cut off the water supply to the dishwasher. So it's fully tightened right now and that means that there should be no water supply going to the dishwasher. The next step is to remove the access panel at the bottom of the dishwasher. And I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer so that you can get a better view of what holds the access panel in place. So now we're here at the bottom of the dishwasher and this little black piece right here is the access panel. Now I'm just going to shine a flashlight so that you can fully see that there are two screws that hold it in place. So you can see there's one screw right over there and that is on the left side. And then let's go over to the right side and there is one screw right over there. So I will be removing those screws and removing the access panel. So now that I have removed the access panel, this is what it looks like underneath the dishwasher. Now you can see that we have the water supply right here and we also have the electrical supply right here. We're going to start by working with the water supply. Now I'm going to be uh, removing this pipe and um, that will, we are basically going to be removing the water supply from the dishwasher. So there will be water caught in this pipe so when you remove this uh, this piece right here there will be some water coming out so you should definitely put either a pan or a towel underneath now I will be putting a towel but I do know that this was put on very tightly and it is pretty tight it's, it's very hard to move under here so I'm just gonna try and get a single maybe a quarter of a turn in with uh, with the wrench before I before I put a towel under so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna try and get just a very very small turn in uh, counterclockwise just to loosen this right here let's see if we can get it in it was put on very very tightly I feel it moving okay so we're gonna just get another little turn in before we try let's see if we can might have to use a different tool So I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there is a little bit of water dripping out. So I just got some on my finger just to show you. You can see that there is some water dripping out. So I know that I have loosened it um, enough. So now I'm going to put a towel under there and I will continue turning it with the tool until I can fully remove it. You know what, as I said, it's really tight under here, so I'm just going to continue turning it and I'll clean up the water after it falls. It's really no big deal. So I'm sort of alternating between wrenches because uh, it is really, really hard to work under here and it is not uh, a new hose. It's not a new pipe, so it's not like the flexible hose type. This is just very stiff. And um, there was some uh, like plumber's putty and, and stuff like that put on when it was put on. So it's coming out just slowly but surely. So 
So I've been struggling with removing the water supply for a bit, but now I got it to the point where I can sort of turn it with my fingers if I turn really hard. Um, and the reason that I don't have a towel under here is just because it, it is really, really tight and it's really hard to work. This isn't um, a new flexible type of hose. This is, it's an old pipe that is very, very stiff. So I can't maneuver it around or anything like that. And now, as you can see, I'm just removing it with my finger. And what, there we go. And there's all the water that I was talking about. I'm gonna get a towel under there. There we go. Actually, it actually wasn't that much water, which is really good. But I'm just gonna get a towel and uh, wipe it up and make sure that all the water drains out of that hose as much as possible. All right, so now we are going to work on removing the electrical supply. But before I touch the electrical, I'm going to use this non-contact voltage tester just to ensure that there is no power going to the dishwasher. We're just going to double check putting it along the electrical wires and it is not beeping. So that means that there is indeed no power going to the dishwasher. So I feel comfortable working with the electrical. So the first step is to remove the access panel right here um, that covers all the electrical wires. So I'm just going to use the screwdriver to remove the access panel. Alright, so now that I've removed the access panel, I'm going to separate the electrical wires. So in this case, and in most cases, there are there will be wire nuts keeping the wires together. So I'm just going to remove the wire nuts and I'm going to pull the uh, electrical wires out from the dishwasher. So I'm removing the wire nuts and we are going to be separating the wires just like that. And I'm going to do the same. So I, I did it with the green wire right here, which is the ground. Now I'm going to do it with the neutral, which is the white wire, just like that. Remove the wire nut, place it to the side, separate the wires. And then I'm going to do it with the black, with, with the black wire, which is the power wire or the hot wire. I'm going to separate them just like that. And now we can actually take the wires that came from the electrical panel. So this one right here, and we can pull them out. So we're going to try doing that. And once again, it is a really tight space. So be very careful and do your best. You know what, I just realized that rather than pulling the wires through, this is the type of uh, connector right here that has to be popped out entirely. So I'm just gonna take the connector and I'm gonna remove the connector from the dishwasher. I'm gonna have to pop it out and then that will allow us to take the electrical wires out. I'm just gonna get a pair of pliers because you have to kind of squeeze the connector together to get it out. All right, so now as you can see, I've removed the connector and I can remove the electrical wires. Sorry, my flashlight just fell. Once again, it is a really, really tight space, so be careful. <laughs> All right, so the electrical wires have been removed and disconnected. As you can see, the water supply has been removed and disconnected, as you can see. So the next step is to remove the water drainage uh the water drainage hose. So we're gonna head under the sink. So we are now looking under the sink and this is the water drainage hose. So this is the hose that allows the water to drain from the dishwasher and we have to remove it. So uh, what I have to do to remove it is simply use a flathead screwdriver to loosen that piece right there and then I will be able to re to remove the hose and sort of disconnect it and once I have removed the hose it is important to feed it through the cabinet so I'm going to take the hose and I'm going to feed it right through that cabinet to ensure that when I pull the dishwasher out the hose doesn't get caught on anything or any part of the cabinet 
So once again, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to loosen that piece, disconnect the drainage hose, and then I can feed it through the cabinet. So now as you can see the drainage hose has been disconnected and now I can simply feed it through the cabinet. The next step is to remove the mounting screws that are found at the top of the dishwasher. So to find them you can open the dishwasher door just like that and you can see that on this dishwasher there are two mounting screws. One over here on the left and one over here on the right. So I'm going to place my camera down and I am going to remove both of those screws. Now that I have removed the mounting screws, I can close the dishwasher door and head back to the bottom of the dishwasher. The final thing that we have to do before we can remove the dishwasher is lower the legs. Now when you lower the legs of the dishwasher, it will allow you to gain some room and that extra room will make it much easier to actually remove the dishwasher. So I will be using um, a wrench to lower the two front legs. There's one front leg over there and there is also one front leg over here. So I'm going to use a wrench and place my camera down so I can sort of use both of my hands and I'm going to lower those legs um, as much as possible. So after lowering the legs, I was able to remove the dishwasher. Now, uh, I was doing a kitchen renovation and it was really, really loud in the kitchen. So I had to do a voiceover for this part of the video. Now, if you take a look, you can see that I went to the other side of the cabinet to push something in and that was the drainage hose. It was caught on the cabinet. So just make sure that uh, the drainage hose is completely free and clear when you are removing the dishwasher and you should be good to go. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.